This is probably the nicest looking Defender 90 that we've had that came over from Europe and it's nice for several reasons uh, it's got these cool wheels and it has been completely restored it looks like it was uh, some years ago doesn't look like uh, anything happened to it recently as far as paint work or any restorations um, interior was done as well another reason why this is nice is because of the way it drives it's probably one of the most solid mechanically defenders that we've had in a while the one that you could just take and drive the hell out of it and you're not afraid it's gonna break and I even drove it today and I think I got it to about 70 miles an hour which I don't think I've driven any of them that fast um, so it's definitely a cool one uh, I'm going to concentrate on showing the flaws but I also kind of want to show you what this thing is and um, and how it runs as far as the engine and all that uh, I'm not going to put it on the lift but I will show you the undercarriage there is only few places uh, where they have rust so I will um, try to show you those two and you'll see how nice it is uh, and the uh, undercarriage does look like at some point uh, was rust protected and and all the good stuff so let's get to it so let's start from the imperfections on the paint again this whole thing's been repainted I don't know how long ago um, it's definitely not a fresh paint work uh, the paint quality itself is very nice uh, it doesn't look like there was rust covered by the paint or anything like that because if you look at the bottom of the doors which is the first place where these cars rust there is no rust and it doesn't look like anything was repaired now um, as far as the prep work before paint work maybe there were some little issues and I will show you a couple of places where uh, there are rust bubbles I think this is the biggest one of all of them and again keep in mind this is all aluminium so when we talk about rust it's not rust that you see on a regular car this is more like an oxidation and bubbling even the ones with original paint they start doing it that's probably the, the biggest area where you see the bubbles and and I and I hope you can see it clearly uh, I don't really see it in many other places uh, and if you look at the body it's pretty nice and straight a lot of these um, have a lot of dents this is again being aluminium uh, dents easy but you can't really uh, fix those dents easily uh, let's look at the other bottom of the door again uh, it looks nice and solid and from where I stand I can't really see any prior rust repairs on that door uh, there is a little crack over here in the paint and I thought I saw something in the front that was kind of minor but I can't see it anymore so maybe oh there it is right on that fender there is a tiny little bubble but it's hard underneath and it doesn't look like it's something that's gonna crack or create anything bigger than that what you see and then a few small areas like a little paint crack right here and you can just tell this is not a fresh paint work it was done some time ago now as far as the modifications from the outside the car has a snorkel uh, which I like and then um, there is a winch a winch actually works there is a remote inside that you connect right here and you can operate it uh, the remote is on the cable and again I tried and it works then you have these LED lights here and you have this uh, strap there and that all works as well um, and it has these rims which uh, which I kind of like uh, other than that some little goofy stickers 
uh, bullet holes uh, stickers. Oh, and by the way, I see also there's a little little bubbling here, but again, it feels kind of hard, so I don't think it's gonna become uh, or develop into anything anything bigger. Uh, tinted glass, uh, black roof, it's got the little ladder here. Um, it does have uh, a hitch. This is a European uh, style hitch and it does have, I believe this is a trailer connection. <clears throat> uh, as far as what this car looks like underneath, it looks extremely well. Uh, these cars, usually we don't see them rust a lot, but the sensitive area is right there at the end of the um, frame rail. That's where we see them rust. Also, if you look at the springs, uh, it just looks like it has newer suspension components. Like even this bushing, it's a urethane um, uh, bushings here and there. So there was definitely work done uh, to this car. And I want to also show you the front because these cars usually leak oil. This one, it's dry. It's really dry. It doesn't leak anything and I haven't seen anything leaking from out of it. Um, so it does look really good. Uh, and again, no rust uh, other than maybe some surface stuff that um, that you can see it looks like uh, a, again it looks like a lot of stuff was done to it uh, and this is not just recent work but everything looks good and and solid mechanically it really does feel very very nice uh, interior was redone as well uh, and you got these custom uh, door cards here uh, with red inserts uh, that suppose I guess they're supposed to be matching the seats but I think the ones on the seats are a little sun faded so these are a little redder than this and the whole dash is wrapped in the same type of leather or or vinyl uh, as the door panels and that actually looks pretty pretty nicely done you can tell all the carpets have been replaced so uh, it's got new carpets uh, you got the same fabric here and you have the same fabric on the entire headliner these headliners are usually pretty ugly now what's also nice is that whoever did it they actually did pretty nice work I mean nothing is hanging uh, it all looks very very a uh, nice uh, as far as the fitment um, it all looks great uh, let's open the rear door again same type of uh, material here as well as the seats this thing has not been cleaned so I do apologize that it's got some stuff on it but we have not clean uh cleaned this car since it came in so that's the back of it uh, and i'm pretty sure that if you look closely you'll find some other minor imperfections that i missed but it's an older car so i'm not trying to be super detailed uh, Odometer reading is 121,000 kilometers. Uh, this thing starts right up and it runs absolutely great. Uh, you got the red lights, that's for the e brake. There we go. Uh, the only thing that I've noticed as far as um, the mechanicals, there is a small vacuum leak from the brake boost pump or the vacuum pump going to the brake booster um, there is a little gasket um, that's in front of the brake booster that is uh, leaking air it doesn't seem to be causing any issues uh, as far as braking but uh, when you open the hood you can just hear the air is hissing um, it looks like a very easy fix it looks like the gasket just needs to be replaced 
uh, or sealed somehow. engine is dry it sounds great uh, I'd say there are some new parts that are visible and that leak that I'm talking about is actually right there that little gasket uh, you can tell it's a slightly leaking air and as far as replacing it it looks like there are just four bolts two on each side and this thing would just come forward and you can replace that gasket um, and that's really the only thing that I've noticed as far as uh, mechanical issues I mean no leaks pulls strong doesn't smoke um, everything seems to be working It's a really nice and neat looking Defender. Uh, the next video will show the other one that came in in the same shipment. So you guys will see both of these videos uh, appear pretty much immediately on our channel. Thanks a lot.